problem says here that a massless rigid rod of length L has a small mass of M attached to it in one end and there is a pivot in the other end and this pivot is frictionless so it goes through a vertical motion and uh, it starts from here though point A position A let's say and it starts with a velocity V0 it goes in the counterclockwise direction and uh, initially with what happens is it goes up to D and that then it stops then it comes back so that is the point it reaches which is D so first we need to find D, we need to derive an expression for V0 in terms of L M and G A so when at position A its mechanical energy that's its potential energy and kinetic energy will be the kinetic energy will be half m v naught square because that's its velocity v naught plus the potential energy it has is the uh, is will be m g h of course but in this case the h will be the height uh, from the lowest position which is b so from a to b the height is of course just the radius so that will be m g l h is l so that is the height so that is the mechanical energy with which it starts from point a and using that mechanical energy it finally reaches point d and then stops that means it stops means it just has the potential energy it doesn't have any more kinetic energy because when at point d its velocity is zero so kinetic energy is zero potential energy is according to its height from position B again the lowest position so that will be equal to mg and this height B to D the distance is of course the diameter which is 2L so if we do that if we can get rid of m's and then V square will be V square will be V square plus 2GL and it will be V square uh, is equal to 4GL so what I did is I multiplied both sides by 2 because it was half V square so V square is now becoming 2 GL so V naught equal V naught square basically V naught is square root of 2 GL so that is the velocity in terms of G and L there is no M term okay the second one B is what is the tension in the rod when the ball passes through B so when it passes through B the tension will be of course in that direction but at point B it is the lowest point and here uh, the forces are the centripetal force is downwards and the weight is also downwards so the tension at point B will be if we sit sorry TB that will be half m VB square depending whatever uh, the v, whatever VB is which we still don't know plus uh, weight which is mg now what is vb in order to find vb what we should do is at point b its potential energy is zero because its position uh, high uh, vertical position is zero because that's the lowest point so it has only kinetic energy and its kinetic energy will be equal to the mechanical energy with which because there there is no loss of energy there is no friction yet it will have friction later on and uh, in, in problem c so anyway here there is no uh, other energy so the mechanical energy will corresponding will correspond to only the kinetic energy so that will be half m vb square will be equal to again the energy with which it started which is half m uh, v naught square plus mgl of course with the same one as we had here at position a the mechanical energy basically mechanical this is the energy at position a and this is the energy at position d and that will be equal of course because that's there's no loss of energy we are assuming uh, mechanical energy is remaining constant because there is no friction anyway so we can again get rid of the m's here um yep and then this will be half if so so vb square will be vb square will be v naught square plus 2gl now v naught square is uh, 2 gl so we, i will write it again v naught square plus 2 gl but v naught square is also 2 gl so that's 2 gl plus 2 gl so that's 4 gl let's leave it like that because we will be needing vb square not vb so we will substitute that here 
so I will write the tension Tb again and that will be half m Vb square and Vb square oh sorry I wrote something that equation I wrote fully wrong because this is actually the centripetal uh, ex, uh, centripetal force not kinetic energy because this is force sorry sorry about that so that will be but it will still be vb square that's the thing but I, I i should now correct it so that will be mv square over r and r is l so i will write that directly mv square over r mvb square over r over r r is l so that's that so yeah and that was a mistake there and uh, so vb squared is 4gl 4gl and this is l plus mg here so ll is getting cancelled this is 4mg plus mg so tb is 5mg so that's there so we got that as well this was a mistake this should be centripetal force of course and this is weight force and this is the tension which is towards the center okay so now we have problem C that says a little grit is placed on the pivot to increase the friction there now we have a frictional force there uh, and as a result what happens the ball just barely reaches C when launched from A with the same speed as before so it starts with the same mechanical energy but now it makes only up to c barely makes means after reaching c its velocity is again zero momentarily and then it comes back but what is when it reaches c it has its mechanical energy consists of only potential energy and that will be corresponding to this height which is mgl so this is happening because of the frictional force due to the grid there in, in the pivot and so the question actually asks us what is the decrease in the mechanical energy du during this motion so what is the decrease now that's what we need to find so of course in this case what's happening the initial mechanical energy is again just the same mv naught square plus mgl but now the potential energy uh, at position c is uh, mgl because the height is l earlier it was position d and it was mg2l and the pivot was frictionless so there was no other loss of energy but now the mechanical energy at position c is mgl so what happens because this is the same thing as before the remaining one so what happens with the other part which was here that was it was to m mg2 l or 2 mgl it was so that one is the frictional energy frictional energy i don't know what i should write maybe energy so energy due to friction that's what I am just writing or I can write uf whatever so what is the decrease in the mechanical energy of course that is mgl because earlier it was mg2l and that's that that is what happens when there is no friction it goes up to point d here and as a result its potential energy is mg2l but now it goes only up to point c and the remaining energy with which it starts the remaining mechanical energy is used up by the frictional energy so that redu reduction in mechanical energy is of course mgl so that's it that's the rejection uh, reduction of mechanical energy that much okay now we have just last part what is the decrease in the mechanical energy by the time the ball finally comes to rest at b after several oscillations so here also we need to do just by observation uh, when it reaches finally after several oscillations at point B it comes to rest at point B so when it, it comes to rest at point B its potential energy is zero because that is the lowest point and it is it has come to rest so its kinetic energy is also zero so the question is what is the decrease in mechanical energy so the decrease will be of course whatever mechanical energy was here that is decreased that is now at point b finally the mechanical energy is zero and the initial mechanical energy was whatever here it was that was mg2l or we can just uh, that's what we got actually because that's how that was the energy on the right hand side when it reaches point d uh, we can just do that if it confuses anyone mv naught square plus mgl but we got half m v naught square is 2 uh, 
two two GL plus MGL. So so that one goes away. So MGL MGL two MGL. That is the energy with which it started, right? Because that's why it went up to point D, and when it had zero kinetic energy, its potential energy was. 2 mgl and that's how we know also that uh, initial kinetic energy because with that information we calculated v0 and that's how we got what is the value of v0 sorry so the reduction is of course 2 mgl because that was the energy at uh, mechanical energy with which it started and when it finally stops at position b its mechanical energy is zero so reduction of mechanical energy is of course 2 mgl that's it